Hello students, welcome to your maths class. So, in our previous class, we are discussing about the set theory. So, in today's class, we will discuss some problems from set theory. So, let's see the first example. So, here in this example, make correct statements by filling in the symbols. This symbol, do you remember what does it mean? It means a subset and or not a subset in the blank spaces. So, here is our first example. So, in this example, you can see two sets are given. So, in the left hand side, the set, the elements of this sets are 2, 3 and 4. And there is one more set in the right hand side which contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, you have to verify whether the first set is a subset of the second or not. Now, there is a question. You may uh, think that why I have directly told you that you have to verify whether the first one is a subset of the second one. Why not the second one is a subset of first one? See, this is very simple. If you notice the elements of the sets, see in the first set, that means the set on the right, left hand side, it contains three elements. And the second set, yes, it contains five elements. Now, it is obvious that the element, the sets which contains more number of elements will be a superset. Okay. So, that's why I told you that the set with less number of elements has a chance to be a subset of the set which has large number of elements. Now, let's see the elements of the set. Now see, in the first set, the elements are 2, 3 and 4. And in the second set, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now if you notice the elements of the first set, that is 2, 3, 4, which are also the elements of the second set, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, you remember the do you remember the definition of a subset? In the definition of subset, it is all, it is given, it is clearly given that any set whose elements are the elements of another set. See, in a subset, you need two, sub, two sets, okay. Suppose if you consider this example 2, 3, 4, the set containing the elements 2, 3, 4, See, each elements are the elements of the second set also. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. But in the second set, there are some extra elements. For example, 1 and 5. So, from the definition of a subset, I can write that the set containing elements 2, 3, 4 is a subset of the second set containing elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Is it clear? Is it clear to you what is the logic behind to find whether a set is a subset or not? Okay, let's do one more example. Now, in the second example, there are two sets A, B, C and the another set is B, C and D. Now, if you notice the two sets, both of them contain three elements. So, if we consider the first set, the elements are A, B and C. And the second set, B, C, D. Now, if you compare both the sets, you can see that A is a, an element of the first set. But A is not an element in the second set. 
that means the set in the right hand side but b and c see both the elements b and c are in both the set that is the set on the left hand side and the set on the right hand side but element d on the set of the set on the right hand side element d is not a member of the set in the left hand side now see in both the sets for the first set element a is not in the second set and in the second set element d is not a member of the first set that means in both the sets there are some elements which are not in both the sets okay so in the definition of sets it is clearly said that one set must be a smaller version of the other that means suppose we are considering the set a b c then to become a subset of a other set the elements a b c must be and that must be in that set also now in this case that condition is not satisfied is it clear so that's why i will say that set a b c is not a subset of the set b c d is it clear so there is one more example now see in our previous examples the sets are given in the roster form that means the elements are given but in this example that is in example 3 the sets are given in the set builder form so see what is the first set x such that x is a student of a class 11 of your school and the second set is x such that x is a student of your school now if you understand the idea what is the it is given that x is a student of a class 11 of your school and the second set is x is a student of your school now see a student of the of your school who is studying in class 11 now any student studying in class 11 of your school is also a student of your school now can you tell me which is the bigger set which set contains more number of elements or students yes see in the second set that is the set containing the students of your school it contains all the students of your school but in the first set it is only the particular student of your school which is studying in class 11 so which is the which is the subset yes very good the second set is the the first set that is the set of student of your class 11 of your school is a subset of the set of students of your school is it clear now one more example here it is given that the first set is x is a circle in a plane now in a plane means suppose you have a sheet of paper now you can draw different different circles with different radius is it correct so in a plane or in a set you can draw many circles with different radius now in the second set it is given that x is a circle in the same plane with radius 1 unit it means suppose in that same plane or in the same page you have drawn some circles with 1 cm radius so have you understand the difference between the two sets first one is circle in that particular page with different radius 
and in the second set you have to choose only those circles whose radius is 1 unit. Now tell me which one is the bigger set? Yes, the first set that is the circle in the plan is the bigger set. Why? Because see in that set you can include the circle with radius 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 unit, okay and so on. But in the second set you have to include the circles, only those particular circles whose radius is 1 unit. So that's why set, the first set is a super set of the second one or you can say that the second set is a subset of the first set. Now, the last example. The, uh, this example, in this example, you say that X is a triangle in a plane. And in the second set, X is a rectangle in the plane. Now, X is a triangle in a plane and X is a rectangle in the plane. See, first one is a triangle. Second one is a rectangle. So, is that first set is a subset of the second one or the second one is a subset of the first one? See, triangle and rectangle both are different figures. Triangle has four sides, three sides, rectangle has four sides. So, both of them are totally different. So, not, a, not the first one is a subset of the second or the second one is a subset of the first one. So, is it clear? So, you have to practice this type of examples. See, these are important for your exam. So, practice this type of questions. Now, if you have any doubts in this concept, you can, uh, we will discuss. Okay. So, thank you for today.